idea was this boat. I can't hear you. Tristan Levino. Stop. You know, I don't really like boats. I don't really like a Start up. Oh, yeah. Well, I gotta hold on to something. Get a drink, Amy's Get a drink. So, um. Yeah, so Darla gave me the response. I'm talking about Tim. Um, I actually wrote a four page speech, which I'm gonna just throw out. Just talk. I, I told Tim before I was speaking about him, and uh, he told me he's not even gonna say anything, so. What? But, um, you know, a bunch of people told me that they didn't like boats and they came on the boat just because you know, Tim and Josh were coming. They probably regret the decision right now, but <laughs> you know, it shows how important and, and special Josh and Tim were to, uh, to all of us in Richfield um, and everything they've done. Um, when Darla had first come to me and asked me to speak about Tim, um, I'll be honest, I was a little hesitant to, to, to speak. Um, I've known Tim for 12 years, um, and a, a lot of us know Tim, and from my thinking about it, I think Tim is very difficult to speak about. You know? I've been to baseball games with Tim down in Baltimore, I've sat next to him down there, I've sat next to him at faculty meetings uh, in the cafeteria, and uh, if you took the scenery away, I think, and just looked at Tim, I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference of where he was. You know? <laughs> Except in Baltimore, he had a, uh, always had a beer in his hand. That, that's, uh, that would be there. Faculty meetings, he always had a beer, too. Oh. At least thinking about it, yes. So, um... Yeah. No, but Tim is so very even, you know, tempered, and his emotions are always, uh, you know, you don't know if he's happy, if he's sad, if he's mad. <laughs> I respect that. He's very sarcastic. Unless you get him with the business administrator when the guy's messing up the salary guy. <laughs> So I was talking to Mr. Mack, I don't think he's down here, I don't think he's here. Mack attack! And uh, I was telling Mack how I'm having some trouble thinking about what I'm going to say and why not. And Mack just says to me, so nonchalantly, like I'm supposed to understand what he means, Mack says to me, Tim's just like furniture. That's all he says. <laughs> like I'm supposed to understand what that means. So I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, what the hell does that mean? And, you know, so he, goes, he goes, Tim's just like furniture. He said he's, he's always there. And, um, the, the more I thought about it over the weekend, um, you know, the more that made sense to me uh, of Tim always being there. When I think about my um, my thoughts from things that've gone on at Richfield, things like retirement dinners like this and holiday parties and um, happy hours, definitely happy hours. There's a, there's a theme going here. Um, you know, board meetings um, always right down there in front. Board meetings this year, you actually could relate to. I think uh, some wild parties as well. Um, you know, trips with the guys um, in the summer to baseball games, and, and you know, my wedding as well. Tim was there as well. And the more I thought about it, it was it was almost like um, you know he belonged there. You know, uh, it was like the world was right when Tim was there. Um, you know, it was always a comfort seeing you there. So uh, the same thing can be said about school. You know, Tim very rarely took a day off from school. I don't know how many sick days you have, but it must be, you know, close to like, yeah, it must be, it must be close to like 200 days, um, 300 days, I don't know. And especially this year, it would have been very easy um, for you to take a day off, you know, you knew it was your last year, you could take it a Friday off here, or Monday off there, and you never did. Um, you know, you always came to school and you did your job, you know, um, just like Josh, you know, where's Josh? Right there. Yeah. Just like you. Came in every Monday and Friday, right? <laughs> Josh can take a February break when there was no February break. No. <laughs> Didn't you go to Africa for like two weeks during April? Don't worry about So yeah, in school he's always there. And one of the things also in his classroom, something that I noticed when I walked by, there's two places you could always find Tim. Tim was always either at the front of the uh, room at the board, 
or he was over by a student helping a student. Every single time. I don't think he ever sat down in class. Um, just a quick story about this week. If you work at the high school, you know that this week at the high school is um, pretty much a joke. Oh! <laughs> it is. No, there, there's nothing educational going on at the high school this, this week at school. Um, so I had to go up to the third floor to talk to somebody, and I'm walking down the third floor, and like the first room, there's like four kids watching like a movie. The next room, I think there's three kids sleeping. And I get to Tim's room, and as I approach it, his room is up on the left-hand side. And I can only see the front of the room, and there's Tim, where he always is, standing at the board with a marker in his hand, and there's writing all over the, the whiteboard. And um, my first thought, I, I, I thought, I don't know, it was my first thought, I said, why the hell is Tim teaching to an empty classroom? It doesn't make any sense to me. You know? And I took a few more steps, and I looked in, and there was, uh, there was two poor girls. They were sitting there with their hands around their, their faces, looking... Watching Tim teach them factoring, uh, how to factor a yeah. the, the edu the, That's true, right? Yeah. The, the, the educator in me should have said, you know, great, you know, good for Tim, you know, he's using his time wisely. What I really thought was like, all oh, these poor girls, like, actually did the right thing and came to school, and now they got to sit through an 88 minute, uh, you know, lesson on factoring, so. Um, I'm just about done. I just, I just want to mention like two, of you. <laughs> two other things real quick. I, I've been lucky enough to go to lunch with Tim probably for like the last 10 years. Um, you know, it's always been, somehow Tim and I always have the same lunch period. I don't know how that happens. But, um, well, you do the schedule. <laughs> so I've been right. I've been really lucky to go to lunch with him and, you know, I don't know, we've probably gone to, you know, a couple hundred lunches or something. And, um, there's two things that I just want to bring up real quick. Number one, something I've learned recently, uh, Tim really, really, really dislikes Governor Christie. Yeah. <laughs> and, and number two, while Tim's kids are here, um, one of the topics of conversations that comes up quite often um, that Tim actually gets a little excited about is, is Tim's uh, sons and daughters. You know, I know all about you guys and, and, and where you live and where you work. And where you and, you know. you, you can definitely tell he's very proud of, of how you guys grew up and, and what you're doing. So, I guess that's about it. So, Tim, you know, I hope retirement is everything that uh, you know that you want it to be. Uh, you know, come I hope back any time. I, I, I hope you still continue to come to all of our events and that you, you know that you are here. And uh, thanks to Mac every time I go home and after school and see my living room couch. And Done. We can't thank you enough, Tim. I personally, like I said, you're gonna have to still show up every day next year and just sit in my room because I cannot do this job without you. I really can't. Thank you. Uh, yeah, see, what, what are the secrets to uh, doing these single session days and stuff? Is you, you you teach the kids when they come in and they don't show up anymore. <laughs> Now you know. <laughs> no, I, I want to thank everyone for coming. You know, this this is great. You know, and I don't want to take up your time. We want to party here. This is what it's all about. So, you know, thank you for the you know deepest part of my heart. You know, I appreciate everyone for coming, and thank you very much. Yeah.